Tonight, new developments on the investigation involving what police have dubbed the shopping cart killer. We first told you about this possible serial killer investigation as it was breaking last Friday on News 3. Now, a suspect is in police custody. So far, four victims are tied to this case. Police are collaborating to track down and trace back the suspect's steps, including if there are any connections to Hampton Roads. News 3 investigator Zach Dahlheimer talked one on one with a Fairfax County police officer about what's new in their investigation. We're told the suspect meets victims on dating sites and eventually at motels and after killing them leaves their bodies in shopping carts. Now, Fairfax County police tell me they've been in touch with every law enforcement agency in the Commonwealth about this case and we ask questions about any potential ties to our area as well as what this means for safe online dating. It was almost uh, unassuming in many ways, and that's what makes this case scary. Major Ed O'Carroll with Fairfax County Police referring to 35-year-old Anthony Robinson, currently in custody and charged with two counts of murder, and who police believe to be the suspect in a possible serial killer investigation in Virginia. He, he is on video um, relocating a human remains in a shopping cart uh, to their final resting place, and he didn't do it once, he did it twice. Last Friday, police broke the news of what they dubbed the shopping cart killer investigation. Since last week, O'Carroll says others have come forward saying they met Robinson online. I know uh, two uh, individuals in particular, um, once they met upon him, uh, realized that something maybe wasn't right and, and got away. They sensed that something wasn't right. You know, they, they acted swiftly and their actions may have saved their, their life. O'Carroll mentioned Robinson is believed to have used several online dating sites. Uh, we do know one is called Plenty of Fish. There are others out there that he has used. This case is a reminder of being safe with online dating. Do it in a public place, a very public place. And in life, some risks are worth taking. Uh, risking your life to, to meet a stranger in a remote spot, uh, we recommend is not one of them. Is there any connections that you're looking into related to Virginia Beach, Norfolk, the Hampton Roads area? Uh, we haven't ruled out, um, you know, down towards Virginia Beach and the other areas of Virginia or even outside. But uh, what we might suspect, and again, it's still early in the investigation, that uh, when he's been in contact with, with these women, they have lived out of the area and traveled here to visit him. So even though he may not have been in the Virginia Beach area, there might be someone in uh, your listening area that had had contact with him and maybe decided not to to travel to 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 his uh, his area of, uh, uh, of where he lived in the community. And we're still going through a lot of the digital evidence that we have um, and the search warrants that are that are going to come back. are going to paint um, a clearer picture of his reach, which is why O'Carroll says it's important to speak up as the investigation continues. You know, this uh, serial killer walked and lived among us and uh, did bad things to very good people. These are innocent people, victims that uh, were harmed. It's such a sad story, and, and we're working for justice. O'Carroll tells me they've reached out to law enforcement agencies in Virginia to check their missing person files and suspicious person calls for any potential leads on any more victims. Now, if you believe you or someone you know had any contact with Robinson, especially on a dating site, you're asked to call either Fairfax County or Harrisonburg Police or your local police department. We have contact information for Fairfax County up on our website, WTKR.com. I'm Zach Dahlheimer for News 3.